everyone. Welcome to Miss Shauna's Storytime. Today I'm here with Bertie Bear, and he has a story today with some of his friends, the Berenstain Bears. So today we're going to read a story called The Berenstain Bears Dinosaur Dig, and Bertie's going to sit here on the chair with us and listen as we read it together. The Berenstain Bears by Jan and Mike Berenstain. Dinosaur Dig. Brother and sister bear like to read, and they went to the Bear Country Library quite often. They liked mysteries, adventures, sports stories, and lots of other books, too. One day, brother found a book about dinosaurs. He showed it to sisters, sister, and they looked at it together. It was very interesting. Brother and sister really liked dinosaurs. Learning about them was exciting. They like their long, ferocious teeth. And they like their long, ferocious names like Tyrannosaurus, Stegosaurus, and Triceratops. Stegosaurus had spikes on his tail. It could use them to whack big meat eaters like Tyrannosaurus and Allosaurus, who had all of those ferocious teeth. Triceratops had sharp horns on his head. It could use them to poke any other dinosaur who messed with it. The best part was that they lived long, long ago and they didn't have to worry. So you didn't have to worry about them getting you. Mama and Papa were delighted that brother and sister had this wonderful new interest. They all went to Bernstein Museum to see the dinosaur skeletons. They were ginormous. Brother and sister really liked those dinosaur skeletons. While they were at the museum, Professor Actual saw them and he stopped by to say hello. He was the head of the museum and an old friend of the Bear family. I see you two cubs have been bitten by the dinosaur bug, he said smiling. The dinosaur bug, said brother. What kind of bug is that, said sister. She imagined a huge prehistoric insect. Professor Actual Factual laughed. I just mean that you've caught an interest in dinosaurs and other prehistoric creatures. Once you've caught that bug, it's hard to get rid of it. I know, I've got it too. In fact, said the professor, would you like to see my latest dinosaur project? Would we ever, said sister. You bet, said brother. 
Then just follow me, said the professor, leading them outside and into the rear of the museum. They came to a big open pit on the ground. Leading them outside, mounds of earth were heaped up everywhere. Down in the pit, scientists were at work carefully digging away. What's all this, said Papa, scratching his head. This is my latest dinosaur dig, exclaimed the professor. We have discovered a large group of dinosaur fossils right here behind the museum. We're digging them up so that we can study them. Wow, said brother. Did you find a Tyrannosaurus? Well, no, said the professor, but we did find a Spinosaurus skeleton. Spinosaurus was a fierce dinosaur, almost as big as Tyrannosaurus. And it had huge fin on its back. Can we see it, as sister? Of course, said the professor, right this way. They all climbed down the ladder onto the, into the dinosaur dig. Now here's the Spinosaurus skeleton, said the professor. It's the first one found in this area. Wowee, said brother. It's humongous. And over there, said the professor, there are many other fossil reptiles. As he led them through the dig, brother and sister imagined all the prehistoric creatures as they would have looked when they were alive. Spinosaurus. Corinthosaurus. Ankylosaurus. They saw another fin-backed reptile, the Demetrion, a giant long-necked Apatosaurus, a flying reptile, a pterodactyl, and a giant sea reptile, the Maosaurus. It was bigger and more ferocious than any shark that ever swam in the seas. Thank you for the tour, Professor, said Mama. As they climbed out of the dig, that was very interesting. Yeah, said Sister and Brother together. It was awesome. On the way out of the museum, they stopped to the museum shop to get more books and some dinosaur models and kits. Back home, brother and sister ha soon had every inch of their treehouse covered with model dinosaurs. There were dinosaurs and reptiles fighting on the stairs, eating on the table, sleeping on the sofa, and swimming in the bathtub. There were even some dinosaurs made of clay inside the refrigerator. Brother kept them there so they wouldn't get soft and squishy. It seemed Papa and, to Papa and Mama that dinosaurs were everywhere.
Before dinner, Papa headed for his favorite easy chair with evening newspaper. Oh, Papa, said sisters, said sister as he started to say, yow, Papa yelled as he jumped up. That's my setup of the Jurassic Age, sister explained. Sister, said Papa.